Hi, George here, and we're going to be working on doing some custom mob skins. Now take a look at this and tell me what do you think is wrong here? What do you see that's wrong about these creepers? I'll give you a big hint. Look at their color. What's wrong with that color? Obviously, they don't blend into the background any longer. They're no longer a good camouflage creeper. They're bright green, and they stand out like a sore thumb anywhere they go. So we're going to fix that, and we'll do that by making a custom resource pack that includes a custom creeper skin. Okay, for that, let's just get out of here. And we're here on the desktop. Now we need to set up a resource pack for this and we'll be needing the folder structure for the mob. Let me show you how you can do that. It's a couple of steps. First off, we need to get the vanilla resource pack. Now there are different ways of getting this. One way is just to bring up the Minecraft launcher and this right here, go into installations and then latest release and click on that folder right there. That brings up the Minecraft folder in here. Okay, another way to get to that, let's just get this out of the way, is to open up any drive window like this, and then in the address bar up here, type in percent app data, percent, hit the enter key, go into the Minecraft folder right there, same thing, same location. There's one more way to get in here. If you're on a Windows machine, hit the Windows button, type R for run, and then up here, just type in the same thing, percent app data, percent, enter key, back into the Minecraft folder, and there you go, three different ways to get back into the same location. I normally use the launcher, but in case you're using a different launcher, this is how you get here. Okay, in here we need the vanilla resource pack. So for that, let's scroll down, and here's versions, go into versions, and then find your version. Right now I'm playing in 121, and it's right there. Ignore anything with anything additional on it. Just go for the one that has just the actual version number. Go into that. You should see two files in here. If you only see one file, then run the game until you get to the title screen and close it again. That's when it loads the jar file. If you're not seeing that .jar up here, go up to view, come down to show, and file name extensions, there it is. Okay, let's take this, I'm going to right drag it over here and copy. Don't move it, make sure you copy it. If you move it, it'll just have to be re-downloaded again. So this just saves you a step, get that out of the way. Now I need to open this thing up and you can do that by converting this to a zip file. It's actually easy. It already is a zip file. We just need to rename this backspace over the jar and change it to say zip, hit the enter key, hit the yes button right there. It's now a zip file. Now right click on this, open a new window. Now inside of my pack, I have a custom pack.png file right here. I have a video about how I made this. I'll have that in the description if you want to see that. I'll be doing this again pretty soon. If you want to use the original one, it's right here to scroll way down and it's right there, pack.png. That's that grass block one. Okay, let's go back up to the top up here. Let's go inside of assets, inside of Minecraft, go inside of textures right here, inside of entity, and in here is where you're going to find the skin folders. So here's creeper. There are two of these. Let me just improve our view here. Creeper PNG and creeper armor PNG. We're not seeing those because this is inside the zip right now. If you want to, you can just drag over the creeper PNG and copy. There it is, there's that file. What we care about though is the folders that are listed right up here. Assets, Minecraft, Textures, Entity, and Creeper. We need to make these folders in our working folder over here. Now I set up a folder on my hard drive. It's just an empty folder. I called it pack and I brought in my custom pack PNG. And then we just grabbed that zip file right here. Let's make our new folders. New folder, this is the assets. Inside of assets, new folder. This one is Minecraft. Inside of Minecraft. New folder, this one is textures. Inside of textures, new folder. This one is entity. Inside of entity, new folder. And of course, this one is creeper. There we go. And the reason why I showed you all of this is in case you want to be doing a different mob. Here's the beds, for instance. If you want to be doing a different mob, this is where you find the right folders for that. If the mob doesn't have any variations, then it's going to be down here without being inside of a folder. So these are inside of the as this Minecraft textures entity folder, and then things like the wolf and the zombie and so forth, those are on their own folders. Okay, we're now done with this. Let's back up here to the pack folder right there. There's our new folders. We have the pack PNG. We'll also be needing a pack.mc meta file. We'll get that later. Now that we have the folder set up, we can go ahead and repaint our creeper, and make it look a lot more like the grass in the game. We just need to dull that down quite a bit. So for that, I'll be making this over in Planet Minecraft. Let me bring that site up. And it's right here, planetminecraft.com. You want to go up here to Minecraft, come down to PM Skin 3D, 
click into that. Go to the Advanced Editor. Here we go. Go over here where it says File. I'll be starting a new skin. Let's now find the Creeper. And he's right there. Use the default texture and create. There it is. There's the Creeper. This is a little hand here. You can actually grab the picture and move it around and see different parts of the Creeper in there. Now, there are some spots here that we can't see. And we can show or hide those over here, left-hand side. We're looking at the body right now. I can show or hide the body. I can show or hide the head. And I have four legs in here. Now, with the legs, you only have to paint just one leg. See, as I'm moving over here, that same block is being matched on the other ones. So pretty easy to do that. If you want to get the top of the body, just hide the head. There's the top of the body. If you want to get to the bottom of the head, I'm going to hide the body and show the head. And there's the bottom. So pretty easy to come in here and move around and find the different parts that you need. Also, the bottom of the feet, just go right down below ground level. And there's the bottom of the feet. Now, he's standing on the right color grass. So all we need to do is to paint him so he looks more like the grass down here. And he'll be just fine. Now, I'm just going to make him a bit darker. That's all we really need to do. And a bit less contrasty. And there are different ways to do that. Now the current color is right there. This is foreground color. That's your current drawing color. And this dot here, this is where that color is. If I move this thing around, you can mix your colors in here. There's your white and your black here. Low saturation and high saturation, it's all in there. Where the line is over here, that's your basic color. I'm just going this around over here into the greens. And I want to have something. It's full saturation, maybe back just a little bit. And maybe right around here, that looks like it's pretty close to our ground color, to some of the colors in there. That's a pretty good match. Let's now change this from a pixel mode here to this one. This is a paint pixels of varying intensity. So now if I paint along here, it's just going to give me random colors, kind of random greens based upon that initial green. And I'll go around and I'll just, there we go. Go outside to move this around. And then we'll do the same thing for these other sides. So it's getting a real nice match now. And it'd be much, much harder to see this against the green grass. This would be a much better camouflage which is the way this really is supposed to be. What happened was that in Minecraft Alpha, the grass was really bright, the real bright green. But in later versions, they toned the grass down and all of a sudden the creeper began to be really easy to see. And you can see here how much easier it is to see the body and the feet than it is to see the head. So we're in the right direction. This is gonna be a really good, hard to see camouflage, much more the way the creeper should be in the game, making him a lot trickier. And all you have to do is just come around and repaint all the sides like this. Notice it's all based on that one green that I picked. And I'm letting Planet Minecraft come in here and do all the variations for me. Again, to do the bottom, let's just hide the body. And I can then paint the bottom of the head in there. Pretty easy to do, as you can see. If you want to, you can go for a larger brush size, but I want to make sure I don't hit any details that I want to keep. So I'm keeping the brush size small. While I have the body gone, let's just do one of the feet. This is the all match. So if I do one, they're all done. That's the tops. Let's come down underneath. I'll do one of the bottoms down here. That's good. I'm going to leave the toes just like that. And let's do the rest of this. There we go. So you only have to do just the one on the feet. And it matches on everything else. That's that. There's this side over here. I guess all those sides. And, of course, the back right in here. And then all I have left to do is just the body. Let's bring the body back in again. I'll get rid of the head. Now with the body down here, those are the feet don't block anything. So I can go ahead and do the bottom without any problem at all. On some mobs, you have to hide the feet as well. You see how hard it is getting to see this thing all of a sudden. It's beginning to blend in really nicely with that background. And that's what I want. I want to have this thing really hard to see. And it'll make the game much harder if these creepers can sneak around and actually creep around like they're supposed to without being too easy to see because the colors are just too bright. Okay, we'll get the front of the creeper. We'll then do the back of the creeper. Let me get the top while I'm at it right here. Let's get that in. And I'll show the head again. No reason not to at this point. One side and the back. And then the new skin has been painted. There we go. And let's get this back. And that will then finish off the repaint here for the creeper. You can see it's real easy to use this program. Especially on these mobs because they're pretty much basic colors. Okay, I think that's a much better match now. Much harder to see that creeper. Missed one spot right there. There we go. Okay, so far, so good. We now need to save our file. Look over here where it says File. Come down to Save to File. It comes in as PMC Skin 3D Creeper PNG. And I'll save this into our working folder here. Just choose Save. That's done. Now, if you want to put this up onto Planet Minecraft, you need to have a Planet Minecraft account, but that's free to get. 
I'll go ahead and I'll publish this one to my account. Click on publish right down here. Let's give this one a name. I'll call it Better Recruiter Camouflage. And the category here, I think I'll call that one Faithful because it's faithful to what it should be in the new game. Give some basic information down here. There we go. If you're working with a team, you can put additional credits in here. Come down and put a tag. This is gonna be Creeper. Right there, that's one tag. I'll put in a mob skin. And mob skins is right there. In order to camouflage. That's pretty good. Allow comments and publish live. And it goes on to my account right there. I can then see how that looks. Let's just go here to a different background. Here we are, it's a little bit dry, too dark for that, but it's good for the one that we're working in. And that's all fine. If you want to come to this page here and download this, you can get the download right here. And that's done. We've already downloaded the skin, so we don't need that. Let's go back to the desktop. Let me show you how to get the pack MC Meadows so you have the right number for 121. And I'll bring up my website, and that's right here. Let's go over here to Minecraft Pack MC Meta on the right hand side. And here is the current basic pack MC Meta. You can also just download this right here. It's just a zip file. Let's do that. Click on that. I'll download this into our new folder location and save that. And if you're working in a different version of Minecraft, just look down here. I have downloads for all the different pack MC Metas that have ever been in the game, clear down to 1.6.1 back there. So if you already have a pack MC Meta, but you want another format, those numbers are all listed right over here on the right hand side. That link is in the description if you need that. Okay, back to our working folder. And here we go. It comes down as a zip file. I'm going to right click on this, open a new window, and I'll just drag that over here. There we go. We can close this down and we can now delete that zip file. There's a pack MC Meta. Double click on that. There we go. This is the basic that you need. Pack format 34. That's correct for version 121. Let's give it a description. And I'll call this one Custom Creeper. Choose Save. And then all we have left to do is to take this and put it inside of the correct folder. And of course, name it creeper.png. So I'll go here, right click. Let's copy that. Let's go inside of our folders. It's all the way in. Right click and paste right here. Let's change this name. It should just say creeper.png. There it is. That's set. Do we check our view? Real small file, but there it is. Okay, back here to the pack. We now can put our pack together. Real easy. All you need is that assets folder. Hold the control key down. Grab that pack MC meta. Grab the pack.png. Right click and let's compress to a zip file and give it a name. I'll call it custom creeper again. We can now put this inside of the game. Now go back and open up that Minecraft folder again like I showed you at the beginning. I'll just use the Minecraft launcher for that. And go into installations, latest release, hit that folder right there. And that goes back to the Minecraft folder again. Let's get that out of the way. I'll put that right over here. Now scroll down and you want the resource packs folder, which is right there. And then I'll right drag it over here and let's copy that. Okay, that's now in the game and we can run the game and test this out. Back to the launcher, I'll hit the play button. Let's launch this, we'll activate that pack and we'll see how it works. Okay, let's come down here to options, go to resource packs. Here's our custom creeper, left hand side, click on that. It's over here, right hand side has now been activated, choose done and done again. I have a custom interface here for my title screen. The links for all those videos are in the description. Let's go into single player. And there we go. There's our creepers have that nice darker color. Now it's going to be different depending upon where you are. That's more of a woodland color, but it's not as bright as it was. It's a better match back there into the trees. See there's looking pretty good back there. And I might make it a bit less green. That's still pretty green for this, but not as bad as that bright color. So I think I'll go back and I'll do a second one and I'll upload that to Planet Minecraft if you want that. And I'll get it really dull like this. So it'll match this part of the green a lot better. But it'll match other parts of the game very well. I could also maybe make one that's a bit more brown for the more brown areas of the grass. Or you can even make one that's brown and make it match the dirt over there so you wouldn't be able to see it on the side of the dirt blocks. If you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you click on subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. I'm doing new videos every single week. And I'm doing new shorts videos almost every single day. And I'll see you next time.